I guess you never really know when you're in it. I'll, I'll probably be able to like look at it a couple of days from now and be like, whoa, that was crazy. Um, but right now I'm just grateful. I'm just, you know, obviously like anytime that you are able to be honest with yourself and write a song and people care enough to listen is, uh, is a win. So um, I'm very grateful. I mean, this is a super vulnerable song and like you put it so beautifully, it's about more than one thing. And when I heard it, I literally was like, you know, this must be such a mental hurdle to not be able to control the narratives of what other people are thinking. Uh, how did that all feel for you? Like putting it out initially and, you know, I feel like you probably knew, like, you know, you're not going to be able to control what everyone's thinking about it. Yeah, I think that was probably why it was one of the, um, one of the things I've, I've been most nervous to put out, but that was also something exciting about it, I think, because yeah. like, there's only so many times in life where, um, you know, we really get to write about what's affecting us in the moment. Um, and we're not just, you know, cause, cause like as a songwriter, I'm constantly writing ideas for songs throughout my daily life all the time. Um, but, but very rarely do I like sit down with a purpose and, and really write exactly what I want to write in that moment. Um, and I think in this, you know, situation, I think a lot of people have probably felt that way, like in their lives in their personal lives, like it, it is, it's such a struggle to not be able to um, control the narrative and know that whether you say something or whether you don't say something, people are going to be mad at you either way. And people are probably not going to be um, pleased with whatever you say or don't say. So, I mean, it's, it's really just one of those things where you have to kind of do it for yourself at the end of the day um, and, and do it in hopes that someone can find, um, you know, inspiration in the message, which I think one of my favorite lyrics in the song is um, maybe we can pretend there's no gravity in the words we write um, because there's very obviously gravity in, in the words that, that we put out um, and especially the things that we put out into the world. And I've just grown up in this time of social media and, um, and, and kind of grown up in this new age to see how people feel the need to always insert their opinions. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's easier to shut your mouth than other times. And um, yeah, I mean, this time I wrote a song and I'm, I'm very proud of it. So I'm glad that people are receiving it well. Yeah, which is ironic because like you spoke of like it being so difficult and not being able to control people's narratives, but that's what the song is all about, you know, yeah. not letting people get under your skin. Well, um, and knowing that they will either way. And it's just right. like, all, all you can remind yourself is that like at the end of the day, like you have you and you have to protect yourself um, and, you know, your own, your own happiness and peace. Right. So where did you write the song? Did you have to go to the studio to do it? Did you kind of always have maybe some thoughts about it in like your notes app? Um, no, I mean, I, I was actually already in the studio um, and it just happened to be one of those days where I was like, this is, this is how I feel. And so this is what I'm going to write. And um, yeah, I mean, the way that it happened was, was very effortless, uh, which is interesting. Like most of the time it, it, or I think a lot of people assume that it's like this thing where I was like, I had to run to the studio. It's like, no, I was, I was already making music and um, <laughs> it just happened to be one of those things that I wrote that day and that week and the timing of everything um, aligned. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, were, you, were you nervous to put such kind of like, I don't want to say a direct call out, but like putting the word blonde in it where you knew people would kind of align with what that meant? Like, were you nervous to do words like that or was there any sort of hesitation? Um, like, yes and no. I think it's like at the end of the day, uh, the more I dance around the subject, like the less people kind of maybe understand where I'm coming from. And not that right. like the goal is to get them to understand. Cause I, I don't think at the end of the day, like you're ever going to accomplish right. that. Um, but the more honest I could be in that moment. And the fact is, is exactly what I said. It wasn't a call out to one person. I mean, in that situation is like a situation and, and, you know, plenty of other things have happened in this past year alone in my life that I was like, I was like, it's getting, it's, it's getting to be a lot. And I, and I need to compile these thoughts into one place and into one message that I can kind of, kind of come full circle with and constantly remind myself that like people can only get to you if you allow them to. Um, and, and that was something that I, I always wish that I could tell my younger self and, um, you know, my past self. Uh, so it, it really was a message for me to just kind of remind myself, but I, I definitely know that a lot of my fans have struggled with similar things in their lives, in their personal lives, in their relationships, and whatever it is, um, in high school, in college, you know, I mean, it's not just something that I'm dealing with 
alone. So, so truly it, it was, it was not directed at one person, but more, a lot of people. And I think I, I tried to get that across in, um, you did it uh, like when, it, when you posted that, I thought you put it so well. And I, like, when I read that, I was like, totally like the whole song, like, you know, I, I felt like it was about a couple different things, even before you said that. Oh, thanks. I mean, definitely in the video. And that was something that I was really excited to make. Cause I was just like, I think that this is, you know, especially in this time, like 2021 has been such a, a hard year for so many people internally and mentally and, um, you know, in their personal lives that I feel like it's a, it's a message that we could use in more ways than one right now of like, there's going to be a lot of outside noise and you have to, you have to do whatever it takes to keep this quiet and to keep this quiet and, you know, whatever that means for you uh, and whatever that therapy is for you. Um, for me, it was music and it was writing. So that's what I did. Yeah. Was that, would you call that your most vulnerable project that you've done though? You know, uh, I put out another song, was it a year, two years ago, a year and a half, um, called Exhale. And that yeah. was kind of the first time that I ever really at least confronted my, um, my anxiety and just like things that I've dealt with and things that I've grown into over the last few years of my life that I didn't deal with when I was younger. Um, that, that was, that was definitely like, I think, uh, also a very vulnerable song too, but this is, you know, another chapter and a different part of my life. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's like I said, you get super lucky when, when you get to create something that aligns with exactly how you're feeling in that moment. Yeah. The music video. So cool, by the way, yes. where did you come up with the concepts? Like I love uh -huh. like, the all weather situation and yeah. were you, like dying, like drenching, like while having to say, <laughs> Oh, it was so funny to film. <laughs> it really was like the, the snow was made out of like, I, I hate to like give away the mystery, but at the end of the day, it was like, it was like some weird uh, cornstarch mixed with something, potato flakes, and it kept getting in my eyes and in my <laughs> mouth, and I just like couldn't stop, like it, it burned, it was just so uncomfortable, um, but no, I mean, I, I basically, the idea for the video kind of came to my mind as I was writing the song, and I was like, metaphorically, like these these are storms, storms that kind of consistently are passing by, and you know that there's a point where it gets really bad, but you know that they're gonna pass, and you know that um, you know despite despite those storms, you know you just have to you do you have to focus on happiness and love and uh, and what makes you happy, and so um, so it's kind of getting that across visually, um, but yeah, the, the different kinds of weather sort of like progressed. I mean, I was definitely inspired. Uh, one of my favorite movies is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, um, and it's a different uh, plot, but um, but cinematically and some of the things that they are able to accomplish in that movie, I was like, how much can we make this music video like a little film? Um, I love that. Yeah, no, and it visually was so cool. Like even the stills of like the photos you posted of it, I'm like, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was uh, partially due to Gavin because Gavin Leatherwood, who's in the video, was amazing and um, yeah, made every setup look that much better. Um, but yeah, it was it was really fun. That's awesome. Well, and hey, congrats on signing with Island. I know that's a new thing for you. Um, so is Skin going to be part of like an upcoming project? Is it just like a one-off kind of thing? Um, that's a good question. I mean, at this point, like I'm, I'm kind of in that world of making all these decisions and, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if this is part of the next project or not. Um, to me, it's sort of just like a part of my story, um, part of my next chapter, but, but not the whole thing, you know what I mean? So, um, so I'm figuring it out, but I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated. Yeah, I think it's so cool now, like with artists, I notice, you know, a lot of people are just putting out music as they do it. And I think that's just such a, a great space because a lot of the times, like I hear them talking about, like, you know, when you go to make an album, you'll make a hundred songs, but it only makes yeah. like 13. And it's like, well, what about the ones you love that didn't really make sense for the project, you know, and Yo. then you find out what that is. There's so many songs from my past that I love that never made projects. And, you know, I've been, I've been writing since I was 13 and, you know, I've been, been working on different albums cycles throughout those years um and it is it's like the craziest thing that you're like so many songs like just go to this land of unheard songs yeah um, and yeah i mean it is such a refreshing take to not like have written a song a year ago and put it out yeah and pretend that that's where you still are mentally i've had so many things where i've had to put out that i was like i don't feel this way anymore but i guess here you go you know <laughs> and um yeah i'm very grateful and, and island's been amazing and you know, at the beginning of our relationship. So yeah, that's exciting. You really yeah. like, I feel like you came in and just like kicked the door down with that. Song. 
<laughs> yeah, I feel that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what else are you working on right now? I know you um, are producing and starring mm -hmm. in Alice for Netflix. It's so exciting. Yeah. Is that like in the process right now? Yes, uh, working on it as we speak. Obviously, like COVID world is is a whole different beast. Um, and the movie is a present day modern Alice uh, set at a music festival called Wonderland. So it's a different it's a different spin on it. Um, but Netflix was the perfect home, and I'm I'm such big fans of them, and so I'm I'm so excited for everyone to see what we do with it. But definitely working on it right now. And yeah, it's the first it's the first film with my production company. So I'm I'm very grateful and like just so stoked to learn everything I'm, I'm learning right now. Um, but especially for people to see it. So yeah. you are busy. Like, wow. <laughs> that's insane. Um, and what can you tell us about a song called we both know with a fellow named Joshua Bassett? Oh yeah. Um, I can't say too much and it's, it's on his project. So I'm like, I don't <laughs> want to say too much that I can't say. Um, but it's a, it's a collaboration very dear to my heart that I'm, that I'm excited about. And we did it a, a while ago now. So, um, yeah, I guess you'll have to see. Okay. That's exciting. Well, Hey, congrats on everything with skin. What oh. an exciting time for you. And I mean, I truly mean it is such a great song. I've listened to it over and over again because it's just been stuck in my head, but in the way that you're like, I have to keep listening to this. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's stuck in my head too, but I, I'm biased because I, <laughs> um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Of